this is yours. You're the captain, you're the master, you're the foreman, you're the general, you're the head. Don't give control of this to nobody, especially the devil. Do not let Satan come in here and function and operate because he has one mission, to keep you off course, to make you not think it's possible, to make you think that God don't hear you. His job is only to destroy you, to make sure that you don't become what God intended for you to become. That's the mission of the devil. Everything you're going through is preparing you for what you ask God for. You just gotta quit tripping while you're in the process because the process is necessary. You may not see it now, but when he gets you on the other side of it, you're gonna see exactly why it went that way, and you're gonna be okay with it. But quit tripping during the process. Oh Lord, why me? You ain't the only one. Oh Lord, why me? You ain't the only one. Oh Lord, why I lose my job? You ain't the only one unemployed. Oh Lord, why he leave me? You ain't, you ain't the first chick got left. This might, this might not even be your last time getting left. Pull yourself together and quit tripping cause you in the process. God is processing you. He ain't through with you. If he was through with you, you would not wake up in the morning. Negativity. You can protect yourself from negativity. And that's what stops most people, negative thoughts. You can coat your mind from negativity. It's a real simple exercise to do. I do it every morning before I walk out the door. So I walk out as a positive person. The way you can put a coating around your mind is with one simple thing, gratitude. Gratitude erases negativity. I'm gonna show you how this works. If you wake up in the morning, you start having negative thoughts. Man, this ain't my day. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I'm tripping, I just don't feel myself. Every time you feel, in the middle of the day, if you feel yourself doing that, stop, just stop for a second. And start going over in your mind everything you have to be grateful for. Not everything you want, everything you already have, because what you have is substantial. Start coating your mind with gratitude. It'll change everything for you. People don't sleep eight hours a day. That's a third of your life. You ain't but 24 hours in a day. You cannot be sleep eight hours a day. You can't live in LA and wake up at eight o'clock in the morning. It's 11 o'clock on the East Coast. The stock market been open two hours. They already making decisions about your life and your ass was sleep. Everybody has a turn back moment. You have a moment where you can go forward or you can give up. But the thing you have to keep in mind before you give up is that if you give up, the guarantee is it will never happen. That's the guarantee of quitting, that it will never happen no way under the sun. The only way the possibility remains that it can happen is if you never give up no matter what. Stop telling your visions to other people because they're not going to see it. Why do you think you keep imagining opening a business? Why do you keep imagining getting rich one day. Why do you keep imagining that? Because God is talking to you. He's showing you something that he has for you.